Hello, hello. So today we're going to take a look at the tyres on a race car. Now, the tyres can be considered the single most important component on a car. Why is that? Because the tyres are the only part of the car which touch the road, as silly as it sounds. Now, you can increase the power of the engine, you can stick the craziest wings and bodywork on your car, however, if those changes cannot be transferred efficiently through the tyres, they're worthless. So this first video is going to look at how you can adjust the tyres to improve the car's performance. So the first sort of concept I want to talk about is the contact patch. So the contact patch is the portion of the tyres surface which is actually touching the road. So here's a picture of my lovely car's tyre here, and here's my poor attempt at illustrating its contact patch. So you can see that the contact patch will be a square-ish shape. Now, I also have to take into account that this tyre has grooves, so the contact patch will actually look something like this. Now, if you're a fan of motorsport, you'll probably have seen that a lot of race cars use something called slick tyres, which look like this. So you'll see that these don't have any grooves. Why is that? Well, the primary reason is that a smooth tyre has a much larger contact patch compared to a groove tyre. That means that more rubber is in contact with the ground, which means that more energy can be transferred from the car to the ground. And when I say that more energy is transferred, what that basically means is that a slick tyre gives you more grip. So that allows a car to turn harder, accelerate faster and brake faster. So the first sort of big tip of this series is that you want to equip tyres which will offer the largest contact patch. Even if this is the only thing that you change in a car, that alone will offer a significant improvement to your car's performance. Now, there's several things that you can do to optimise how the tyre performs. However, what I'm going to talk about next is the tyre pressure. So, tyres are basically like balloons. The more air you pump into them, the higher the air pressure and the firmer the tyre will become. When there's a little bit of air in the tyre, it will have low air pressure and the tyre will go flat and floppy. Now we can use this to our advantage when setting up a racing car. The amount of air in the tyre will affect the size of the tyre's contact patch. So high tyre pressure means that there will be a smaller contact patch and low tyre pressure means a larger contact patch. So being able to control the size of the contact patch will give you a couple of options. First, a firmer tyre with a small contact patch means that there's less friction between the tyre and the road. That means that the car will get up to a higher speed quicker. The downside to having a small contact patch is that the tyre will have less grip. And as you can probably guess, a car with low tyre pressure will have the opposite effect. It will have better grip because of the larger contact patch However, that means that there's more friction, so the car will be slow and sluggish, especially when gaining speed. So the next question will be, how on earth do you figure out what pressure to run your tyres at? Well, there's one common feature in racing simulators which helps you to monitor tyre performance, and that is by reading the tyre temperature. So normally the tyres are divided into three vertical sections. You have the outside of the tyre, the middle of the tyre and the inside of the tyre. Now as you race there will be slight differences in the temperatures across the surface of the tyre and you can look at these differences to figure out how the tyre is performing. In general a tyre with low pressure will run hotter and wear out quicker. A tyre with high air pressure will be cooler. What you're aiming for is even heating across the surface of the tyre. Now, you'll rarely have a situation where all four tyres have the exact same temperature, but here's a couple of things to look out for. If the centre of the tyre is hotter than the edges, this normally indicates an over-inflated tyre, so you may want to drop the tyre pressure. If the edges of the tyre are hotter than the centre, this normally shows that the tyre is under-inflated, so you need to increase the air pressure. So, putting all of that knowledge together, you can see that getting the best out of your tyres can be a tricky task. However, I hope this video has educated you a little and helped you to find ways of improving the performance of the tyres on your car. Now, it does get more complex than what I've covered, especially when you start to play with the suspension. So, that's what I'll be covering in my next video. So, I hope to see you there. Many thanks for watching and I will catch you later. 
Now, listen up guys, driving fast in real life is dangerous and most likely illegal where you are, so save it for a safe and controlled environment and don't be doing it on the streets, okay? Stay safe out there.